Hey, you know, you have went through some great times in your high school career. You've also had to fight through injuries and stuff. Every time you've had to fight through an injury, particularly last year, does that make just make you tougher and more hungry and more determined? Yeah, definitely. I mean, my shoulder surgery, obviously, I had a, my sophomore year, I had a broken foot coming in, so I had to miss just like five or six games at the beginning of the season. But it just makes you, like, once you get back, you just want to like really work hard and grind to get back to get back to playing. So especially with my shoulder surgery, it was just it was just a long, lengthy process, and I had to, I had to like tell, keep telling myself that there, I mean there is there is light at the end of the tunnel. So then I finally got back, and then I got back in the, the season and tried to make a postseason run, and then ended up losing the first round. But it just made me really hungry coming back. What was from the time you hurt your shoulder? to the time you felt you were 100 percent how long was that process six months i mean uh, yeah it was well i had my surgery in late october and then i got back at the end of february and then played two games no i played one game and then we went into substate and played two more and then so i ended up playing four games total but it was just it was a really long process it, it was supposed to be like a six month process but i ended up getting back to five so then I was able to play, and you know, I felt strong. I mean, the first couple of games I was a little hesitant in avoiding contact. When I got like in the paint, I would shy away from contact. But then by the third or fourth game, I was starting to come back to my old self. So. Okay, how about Creighton? You had other offers. You had a lot of people interested. Relatively early, you picked Creighton. Mm -hmm. just, just thought it was a good fit. Yeah, I just thought it was the best fit for me. And Coach McGrimmett, he's a great, great coach, great guy. And they're, Coach DeVries, he was the assistant that recruited me the most, and he's just a good dude. So they just have a good atmosphere there. They have good fans and good people and good support. So, and the way they play really matches the way I play. So I just figured that was the best opportunity for me to exceed at the next level and try and get to the future, I mean, the future of playing the NBA. But I just figured that that was the best, best place for me, best fit in every situation possible. Okay.